The A500 Mini was launched a few months ago in the UK and it's set to launch within the US in the coming days. Retro Games, the company who developed and built the A500 Mini, have recently released a firmware update. Version 1.1.1 includes ADF support, which was a huge request by the Amiga community. The 500 Mini now includes playlist support. It allows controllers to be swapped during gameplay as well, amongst other items. Some bugs have also been fixed in this version, including a game save issue. Let's have a walkthrough of how to update the device. For this, you'll need an A500 Mini, obviously, a FAT32 formatted USB drive, and an internet connection. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to check the version number of my uh, current A500 Mini. This is quite easy to be honest. So to do this, we just go to, um, to the options. So we press the menu button, and then we're gonna go down into advanced options. And then once we're in there, we're gonna to go to system information. So I can see that this is, uh, the build is running Manhattan 1.0.0 strange. So what we'll do now, we'll just close this down and we'll get back to the main menu here. Now the important thing to stipulate here is um, you now need to unplug all the peripherals from the A500 Mini so that everything, including the mouse, and the only thing to leave in is the game plug, uh, gamepad. So you only leave the gamepad plugged in. The next step is to go to this website and download the latest firmware, which uh, today is 1.1.1 and it shows you all the different features that come with this uh, this version of firmware as well. So what we do, we just go down to the download button, opens in a new tab, it downloads it from their Google Drive, click download, opens again in a new tab, and it starts to download it for you. You'll notice it's 54.3 meg, um, just let it run. If obviously if you've got a slow internet connection, go and make yourself a cup of tea. Okay, so the USB is in my drive, and I'm just gonna right click here, and go to format. It's already set to, um, we want it to be set to FAT32. It's obviously got the capacity here, just gonna do a quick format. So we would just do that. It's obviously gonna come back. Perfect. So now this is obviously on my desktop. I've downloaded it here. This is the uh, version 1.1.1. And I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna drag it into my USB drive. And that's in there now. So we're gonna disconnect the drive and take it from there. Now you've inserted the USB stick into your uh, A500 Mini. You now need to go back to the options, advanced and system information again. So let's go menu, advanced, system information. And you can see there, obviously there's a firmware update. So it's 1.1.1. Do you want to apply this update? Yes, so let's click update. And uh, let's just wait. As you now see, the A500 has uh, rebooted itself and it's updated itself. So if we go back to the menu options, advanced options, system information, and you'll see that it's now running 1.1.1. That's it. Hope you've enjoyed this quick A500 mini firmware update video. Please like and subscribe. See you soon.